What's up, beautiful people? It's another beautiful morning here on the Kinabatangan River, and we are just off on our final cruise. It's a sunrise cruise again, so we've been up nice and early, but we're just about to get on the boat. So our final cruise, we managed to, just in the distance, see the last of the big Borneo 5 that we hadn't seen already, the orangutan on the Kinabatangan River. So that was absolutely awesome. We have packed up and we're ready to go. For those of you who haven't seen this, is our crazy nice room. A little bit more messy now, but all packed up here. And now we're just gonna head out and check out Thank you so much. Terima kasih. Bye, thank you. Thank you so much, it's been an absolute pleasure. You're yeah. a great guide. Thank you so much. And uh, yeah, see you soon. See you on see YouTube. You. See you, see you when I, when I see you. Haha, <laughs> yeah, that's it. Good. See you guys. Bye. Bye. Oh. Keep our wheels running. All right, so guys, before you check in, and we're back in Sandakan. We are in a very nice hotel actually. We decided to splash out, have a little bit of luxury because it is Hannah's last few days here in Borneo. She's currently in bed with her one true love, crisps. Potato Just generally. potato in general. But um, yeah, we are deciding we'd splash out a little bit. Now this, we read reviews and it said it was like five star luxury in the in this town with a fraction of the price. So we thought, why not splash out? And it's not crazy. I think for our room, it's like just over 20, 20 pounds a night. Yeah. Just over 20 pounds a night. This is our room anyway. It's, it's pretty nice. We've got this whole area here. Lovely bed, bit of work area, bit of chill area. Just through here, we've got our bathroom with this huge shower love that and then just our view is so nice it's over the whole bay you can see all of the town just down here there's an infinity pool and I mean less nice is is all of this litter all of the litter in the ocean is is not as good Welcome. 
So we have just got back from our Kinabatangan River tour and it was good? Very good. Very interesting. Really, really good. But we thought we'd run through like a few little bits, like what we liked, what we didn't like so much, like what could be improved. Yeah, what were like your, your guys' favourite bits? The first cruise. You can't beat that. That was unreal. I can't, I'm speechless still that we managed to see so much. Mm -hmm. Basically the way it works is you have, for us anyway, we did a two night, three day tour but the first thing to mention is it probably shouldn't really be seen as that because you get one full day then you sort of get like one afternoon before that full day and then one early morning after that so it's really more like one full day and two half days but it is the two nights which is nice and it does allow you to have that full day which you wouldn't get if you only stayed for one night or obviously if you only did a one day tour there but um the way that it works was we arrived and the first like main activity we had was a sort of sunset cruise for those of you who haven't seen the vlogs we saw so much cool stuff we saw four of the borneo big five so that was the hornbills oh. the crocodiles the pygmy elephants which are amazing and the proboscis monkeys and I think for me, the cruises, like, because we saw so much wildlife, we were particularly lucky, I think, but we saw so much wildlife. Yeah. And I think that was, like, the highlight of, of the tour, really. What was your favourite? I think it was just a brilliant start, just actually going out on that, um, well, just pre-sunset cruise, wasn't it, I suppose? And because, as they'd said, oh, you know, it'd be rare to see the pygmy elephants, and we did. Yeah. That yeah. just put it straight up there, straight away, the whole trip. Because we'd seen those, we obviously couldn't, gone like the night walk the first night the second night the night walk was cancelled because of like pouring it rain so, bad. so we can't really comment on the night walks but um yeah like i definitely think the cruises were amazing we also couldn't do the jungle walk because of the presence of the elephants on our full day when we were there so you just have to expect that although there will be an itinerary it could change basically yeah. if if you see that if you're lucky enough to see the elephants or if something else like weather happens then things will change during the rainforest yeah. so you've got to expect it i guess i think the village uh, walk in place of one of the jungle walks was really interesting it was really really interesting i think the lodge itself was amazing oh it sounds think. beautiful like we walked in like oh, wow this is nice yeah the the room that we stayed in was fantastic oh wow this looks so nice. We paid just under a hundred pounds, I think, each to stay there, but it, it's good to note that the company we went through, River Junkie, were great, great communication before we were there. We booked it a few weeks back, but um, it wasn't a sponsored thing or anything, but I definitely, definitely recommend going with them just because they sorted so much out. They actually managed to upgrade us to a different lodge, which was amazing. Then when we got to the lodge, they upgraded us to a slightly nicer room, so we were yeah, super fortunate yeah. in that respect, but that place was really really nice the bed was the best bed of the trip very comfy i'd say probably for us the biggest downfall and it wasn't terrible but especially for me but was the food right yeah the food wasn't great i mean i'm vegetarian so i'm kind of used to substandard food and there was always a chicken option a calamari option and then some vegetables which weren't necessarily vegetarian yeah there was there was soups and they but, weren't I mean, vegetarian either. Yeah, they, they had chicken stock in actually. Uh, but there was like fruits and stuff as well. How is dinner for uh, vegetarians, Hannah? Much better than lunch. <laughs> I think in general we had really yeah, good weather. Really weather. And we were kind of lucky is that the sunset cruise finished at six or like half six or something like that. And we got off the boat and just as we got off all the rain, it just went off. Yeah, I mean the weather, the weather yesterday on the cruise was insane, Amazing. perfect. And then the day before it was cloudy, but we got to see so much wildlife yeah. and like you can't have everything it was just incredible the guides there are incredible they know so much and like you just drive past and you're thinking i know this jungle's full of life but i can't see any of it and they just spot everything that's actually a really yeah that's really important to note as well the guides that we had were amazing and a massive thank you if any of you you guys are watching the guides then thank you so much you made it what it was like yeah. you're crazy keen eye for seeing any of the wildlife and then just telling us everything about like the way life is there as well as just the way life is here in Sabah as well there was just so much so much to be thankful for definitely definitely recommend if you're thinking about doing this trip so now it's time to enjoy a little bit of luxury here in the four points Not a bad 
infinity pool. That's all. The storm is coming. You got it. I don't know where it is. I swam after that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the storm comes. It really comes. Is my phone, what, did it go in the pool? No. Just oh. saved it. How much well, it's gone. We're literally just like minutes after we got in. The wind came and all of the... All of those chairs were like blowing in. I had like cameras and phones and everything all over our chairs. And we were just... That was nearly very bad, but thankfully we saved it all. <laughs> that was close. I thought I could say. <laughs> you look shell shocked. I thought I could say it was your phone. Well, that came on rather quickly. We'd been in the pool probably about one minute and then sunbeds were flying into the pool staff were running like trying to save things and that was mad <laughs> hey There was like a bit here that was really, it was really annoying me for ages. So I thought I'd just get it cut here. Ten ring it didn't seem bad. We'll see how it looks after I've like dried it up and stuff at the hotel. But it can't be annoying me more than the other bit was. So that's good. It is the early hours of the morning here. I've just been doing a few bits of work on the vlog, but got back and, and that bit of hair was still annoying me. So under my instruction, Hannah cut some of it off. I don't know if that was the best idea, but fingers crossed it looks alright. But I hope this video has been helpful if you are considering coming on the Kinabatangan River Tour. And if you're not, then it was just interesting if you've made it this far. But it's super nice to be staying here at the hotel for Hannah's last few nights, living, living the life of luxury. Tomorrow we're heading to see the orangutans and the sun bears that are close by, so fingers crossed we get to see them, but I'll leave that for the next vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Big love. That feels good. Good.